What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the vlog. Yeah, we're doing a vlog. It's Championship Sunday here at New York. I thought it'd be kind of fun, actually, to do a, a quick video to show you guys what exactly it is like to be at a Championship Sunday. We are here at the New York Major in Brooklyn uh, at the King's Theater. This event has been unbelievable. I mean, like, the crowd is probably the best that we've seen, at least in North America. The matches have been wild. We have the ever-existing story of New York from the 11th seed, from the very bottom of the standings, now potentially making it into the top eight. One of the greatest stories in COD history unfolds before us today. And so I thought it'd be fun for you guys to kind of see what a Championship Sunday is like, what a Championship Sunday is also like for a commentator, and to show you guys some behind-the-scenes stuff, show you what the event is like, maybe some things that you don't normally get the opportunity to see, and really kind of go from there. I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do. Let me know if you guys do enjoy this idea. Make sure to leave a like and we can do some more of this. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get ready with our day. I just realized as I was recording that, you could see that I've not made my bed. It's okay. Listen, I, I just woke up. Okay, we got clothes everywhere. I'm trying to figure things out. Trying to combine some outfits. By the way, New York was amazing and gave us some merchandise. I'm actually going to show you guys that real quick. New York went full stop. They gave all of us uh, some awesome t-shirts. You see this one, it says Danger NYSL on the back. This is not easy to do with one hand, but it's all good. It says Stan Clear CDL 2022. I would've been happy with just this one, but no, there's more. They give us this one, has New York subliners on the front, on the back of it. It's got some like fighter jet, fighter pilot type of stuff. Looks cool, looking cool. And then they have like the, uh, I don't know, what the coordinates, potentially, I think, of the King's Theater on this one. I think that's what the back of this one says. Yes, which this one's really cool as well. Looks really neat. Major for King's Theater. I'm also wearing a different one. Let me actually turn the camera around. I think this one's pretty cool, too, because it has, like, the subliners, and it has a letter from every single team in the CDL. And then on the back, which you can't really see it. I don't really want to take my shirt off right now. But it basically says something like, you know, keep your hands off the controller and, like, a ransom note. So that's pretty cool. This is the view that we've got from the room, very nice. Not super high up, which I'm okay with. I really don't like being like super high up in hotels. I don't know if anybody else is like that. I'm not like scared of heights, but I don't know, maybe I am. Maybe I'm like slightly, slightly terrified of heights. I'm not exactly sure. But no, nice, nice view here of Brooklyn. I think we're in Flatbush, is that right? I may have just totally butchered that. Anyway, I believe that's where we are. First time in New York. I've had a great time. I've had a swell time so far. Now, it's also right to be able to explore uh, when it comes down to these events. But a lot of people don't understand that whenever you are working, like if you're a player or if you're a commentator, if you're in the production, you usually don't have a ton of time to actually explore the places that you're in. You may have a day. You may have a few hours. But that's really it. Like you go to New York. You go to Toronto. You go to these places you don't usually have a ton of time to experience what it's like to be there unless you stay a few extra days or again maybe you have a full day your flight comes in early etc but normally i find myself not in fact outside but at this desk i usually always find myself at the desk so like i said i usually don't show this stuff off just because i don't think that people find it all that fascinating but yeah this is kind of like roughly what some notes look like you know i'll have one side versus the other. Uh, you know, I'll talk, have a few things about New York, just some bullet points. Like this isn't anything like crazy, but just things that I want to mention or remember throughout the series. I mean, I would say 90% of the notes that I take, I actually don't um, even mention on broadcast. It's just helpful to think about. It's helpful to know. Yeah, for a series like this, uh, I usually try to prepare a lot ahead of time. I usually do a lot of notes. And that's why I talk to you guys about. It really helps doing those pick and videos. It helps doing Lando's lock-ins because that is my prep work along with YouTube videos. And it helps me kind of refresh the stories in my mind. So just for, and this is not done yet, but this is just, I've done a lot on the LAT side, done a little bit on the New York side. Uh, and then um, have just a note about their Major 4 rematch where you can see the score lines here. Who played well? Octane was a beast in that series. That was the only one um, that New York lost when it came down to the Major Four qualifiers. And this is also an incomplete sheet. I would say I'm probably, 
I don't know, 30% halfway through working on this one. Um, and I'm not sure how far I will get along on this, just because, again, we got to get to the venue early. Jay and I uh, have the very first match, so we got to make sure that we are on top of things. But um, this is like the format of how I've done this. This is something that I have worked on. The evolution of my sheets um, have taken me a while to perfect, and I obviously they're not perfect yet, but you can kind of see the notes that I usually write. Um, have like map records. I have uh, records throughout all of our majors so far. Again, not 100% can, like up to date on that. Usually write some nicknames, you know, things like that. Just like some basic information, you know, on the players is always helpful. Player names. Uh, I can fill out those stats if I want. Not 100% relevant at the moment. Recent games, and then I usually have hardpoint S and D control hardpoint S and D. I'll fill usually these three out, and then these two will be map specific. Um, once we get those vetoes, vetoes usually come in within about maybe an hour to two hours of our series. And the same thing for the other side of the thieves. So this is the New York side. This is LA Thieves side, and then from here down uh, is where I really reference all the information above and all the information that we prepare for. And I've got, I mean, all kinds of sheets, all kinds of information. I track basically every single series and every single series score line as well. Um, I have every team. So, like, if you were interested to be like, okay, well, what's Minnesota's record in their last five series? I can go to Minnesota, tell you that they've played Optic, they've played New York, they've played Paris, they've played Seattle. And in those games, uh, a lot of them have been going to game five. Um, and then based off their last five matches, technically, they would be two and three. So you kind of see it roughly how it kind of works. Um, and then I have some other stats pages, things that just help me reference this. That's really what this is for. This basically in instantly makes this a lot faster, helps the prep work go a lot quicker. It's funny, I actually just got a text from uh, from the study. He's already talking to me about vetoes. He's like, I think we're going to have test kids. I think we're going to have Berlin's for our series. So... Like I said, he wakes up, he does the exact same thing. Uh, you know, every commentator has their prep. Every commentator kind of does their own thing. That's just the way that I like to do it. I'm a person that needs to write things down in order to remember it. Um, you know, some people are like, you know, what are you doing carrying around notes for? Like, you know, why is that important? Why, why do you have this giant, you know, sheet of information, basically? And like I said, it just helps. Like, it just helps me reference things. Um, you know, if I, if I know the study wants to talk about something, I usually write it down so I can ask them about it, team up about it. Um, and that's really what the goal of a play-by-play -play commentator is. It's to call the information. It's to provide you with the info that you need to hear. Uh, and at the same time, setting up your analyst. That's what it's all about. So I like to write down this information so I can kind of be on the same track as Jay. Because Jay doesn't even need to write this stuff down. I mean, he, he writes information down, but he just knows it off the top of his head. I will never be that way. At least I maybe at some point I could be. But I'm definitely not there because obviously Jay has all the experience in the world. So that's the way that we do it. Um, what time is it right now? It's about 9 a.m. I think we need to be in the lobby around 10 to 10.30. So I'm going to finish up with these notes, get ready, and I think we'll recheck in. We'll see where we go next. Let's go! What are we doing right now, you Jay? What are we doing know, right now? We gotta go get ready. We gotta go get that extra energy in us because today we, we gonna bucks. need it. We, we gotta hit, the, hit bucks. the bucks, get a little coffee in us, and get ready to attack Championship Sunday. This is going chance. I'll do this in a minute. What are you doing? I, I'm doing a vlog on Championship Sunday. Bro, vlog somebody else, man. <laughs> not that, you got nothing for me. No, I got nothing for you. You got, you got your bucks? I don't like being on camera, bro. I do have the. the you don't bucks. like being on camera? I don't like being on camera. Fair enough. Yeah. Guys. What's up, brother? 
brother, how are you? What's up guys, how we doing? Bang, bang. But it was exactly where I broke. <laughs> so okay. Alrighty, it is championship Sunday. We're the first yeah. ones in. I don't think the door's open for another few hours, but this is this is what we got working. This is what we're rolling with. For those who uh, haven't seen what the venue looks like, this is a quick shot of it. This is what we do, productions, putting in the hard hours. Main shirt looks good. That's where we cast up there. Yeah. See our screen. Right here. And they are testing out a walkout that I and a few others don't leak it. Worked on. I'm not I'm not I'm not leaking nothing. That we've been working on. And it's gonna be legendary, trust me. It's gonna be legendary. But take a look at this place. Like this place is incredible. I don't know how long this place has been around for, but this is this is insane. This is incredible, man. Truly sensational. Should I walk? Five, four, three, two, So I got to do this kind of quick, but I also want to show you guys where the analyst desk is. And I know it's very dark. You basically, basically barely see me, but this is where we got the analyst desk sitting. You can kind of see from okay. where they it's sit. Perfect. It's so beautiful. Oh, it is it. so beautiful. The energy is rising in the venue. venue. It, it's just wow. like all right here. Like I said, it's, not, it's very difficult to see, but this is where the desk sits. This is the monitors, the program monitors, the regular screens as well. This is where everything rolls. This is where everything rolls. We got the lights. And as we said, you turn around and you see that. Man. Incredible. That's where the analyst desk sits. And then here in a bit, I'll show you guys where we commentate from. Don't want to interrupt, but this is where the main area is for everything. This is where the PCs are at. This is where everything is based, the scuff booth, etc. cetera. All happens here. Like I said, I don't want to be in their faces or anything like that, but I'll show you guys that probably more in a little while again. Everything's getting set up. We got everybody taking precautions, making sure that everything is ready and prepared for championship Sunday. And then there's the desk, because I showed you guys a second ago. What's up, Raj? What's up, bro? How you doing? How are you, brother? What's up, man? What's up, brother? Congrats, How you doing? Hey, appreciate you, bro. Life. Appreciate you, man. All right, Jay. Yes. What are we up to right now, bro? You know we're preparing for our series to start us off. We got New York Thieves. Hometown crowd. Energy's gonna be electric. It's gonna be crazy, man. Brother, we are so prepared, so ready. My what do we got? What, do we, what, do we got here? What, what are some early notes? What do we got? We got some early notes, you know what I'm saying? We got the Thieves Give 11th us on rotation, third in break percentage. New York 5th compared to 10th in break, so that's gonna be a struggle for them. Last time they played, it was New York who were able to beat them by 51 points on Tuscan. So that's okay, huge. Okay. The search and destroy, <laughs> which is gonna be that Berlin. That's gonna be the game changer because we saw what New York are able to do. They clustered up yesterday in their series. LA Thieves, they've been looking lights out so far in this tournament. That should be a good one. But I think, at least in my opinion, this series simply comes down to the control. Whoever takes the control in this series will be able to walk away with it. I like that. I like the analysis. Come on, baby. We're going to see you guys on the desk here in just a bit, the caster booth. And who's winning today? Ooh, on the spot. On the spot, on the vlog. Championship Sunday vlog. LA Thieves. Chance, who's winning today? 
the fence. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that was mine. I know. That's, that's Miles' gift. That was that fence you're sitting on, brother. Who's not winning today, then, Chance? <laughs> Miles, who you got? Who you got? Uh, honestly, probably face. Probably face. <laughs> <laughs> Belly, who, who's winning today? Paris Lee, Joe. Oh, my God. Boys. <laughs> oh my God. Boy, it's higher than a Bowie. Hey, hey, hey. New York all the way, baby. New Let's York. go. Higher <laughs> than a Bowie. <laughs> thank you, thank you for playing the place. folks we are headed to the caster booth headed to the lobby area this is the paradox area we got the scuff section back there new york section back there what's up brother how are you man Lindo. What's up, bro? How are you? Let's go, bro. Excuse me, folks. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> big city fan, big city fan. Thank you very much. I think you, my good sir, after you. Look at that stage! It is a full crowd today, ladies and gentlemen. A full crowd. Sold out. These seats up here will soon be sold out. VIPs, family members can go up here. Show's about to start. Show's about to start. All right. Show just started, folks. Talking paper, talking simple. I'm talking. There is the stage. The New York subway is here. The crowd down here. As far as the eye can see. As far as the eye can see. Alrighty. Now this is the caster area. This is what we cast off of. These are the uh, headsets. Main camera right there, lights right here. Jay right there to my left. What's up, brother? Let's go. What's up, brother? Was the man himself, Grim Six, was on the terror? We got fans, we got fans out here. Let's go! This is the question they finish. Chance, take a look at the right now. The New York Summer. So right here, New York, they're on a four and one throughout stage four. Really good. The only loss they have is about four points, so that's good. Um, and the teams that have missed the way. Third and break, good thieves. This is a good look. already know when the legend's about to come out. The New York Subliners has made this run in major four. Where's Crim? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's the man? Yo, New York, I need your help, okay? I think I saw it already. We got to summon Crim. Everyone, help me strike the pose. Get wide. Put those arms out in the air. Oh, hold up. I think I'm feeling it. Something's happening right now. Whoa. Oh. Take it away. 
Holy, oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Landon. Before you get started, okay. I just want to see where the energy is right now in the Kings Theater. So, New York, okay. do me a favor. Give me some noise. I don't think that's enough. That's, that's right. not what I was looking for. New York City, give me some noise. All right, I think they're ready, Landon. I, I think, think they're, they're ready, ready, Jay. I think they are ready indeed. One more W. That's what this is about. All about. One more W for New York. A grand final spot on the line between these two teams. And then we got Krim coming out like the Undertaker. I don't know what's going to happen at this point. I will not go away. New York trying to hold things down once more. Uh -oh. It comes down to Kinsman. Finds two and Hydra is there for the trade. Ready for the push through middle of the map. They can close it out right now. They can have it happen here. Kinsman with another crucial double. LAT low on numbers. Here they come and here. Moment! Cuts down one, 15 seconds to play with, and is acting. Does he hop in the defuse or will he hold on to the bombs? He'll use the bomb as cover. He used the bomb as cover, but it's gonna be Paul who answers back and will clutch it out for the team. Paul X, Y, and Z. Now I know my S and D's, New York. Leveled up at one, and Paul, the superstar in round two. Trapped was set. And Kismet will find one, 20 seconds to work with an envoy. He's got to go hunting. He's got to go searching. Where has Kismet gone? He's right in front of you. Envoy looks to wrap back. Paul does get some redemption. Finds the opening on the Kenny. And how about the fight for Hydra? Takes the double and it's all on to Octane. And he will fall as well. Paul X versus Kenny. Bomb attained. And will he look to go for the plant? Is he gonna bait out Paul? Here comes the gun engagement. Here it comes! And Paul will deliver! Looks like it's gonna be here. Krem 6 will fall. He will hit the deck and LAT. Come roaring back in this control. Look at NYSL, the more preferred side as we head in toward Berlin P1. On how we wanna to try to break this, right? They've got the spawns also. Do we wanna go for time? Do we wanna to try to go for these long rotations? Hydra, hungry for three! You have got to be kidding! 240, 235, Kinsman knows where they are! Gotta he go. knows where they are, Thieves! They've got to rush in! They've got to rush in! But it's Kinsman again! Oh. It's Kinsman again! NYSL series done. Now we gotta hop to the desk. We'll have a quick summary of the series in a little while. Maybe talk with Jay about it, but we gotta hop to the desk and talk Optic Atlanta. It's gonna be a crazy one. We got Optic Texas and the Atlanta phase. What better matchup would you want? Joining me on the desk, we got Allie and Nameless, of course, right? But also, my man Lando, great commentary. We just walked off of a banger series. How oh my gosh, dude, that was unbelievable. That was wild. Like, the, the story has been set in play for months. We came in, like we said, we came into Major Four wondering if it was even possible, right? Could it even happen for New York? And the fact that we sit here where we are, they're not just in the top eight, but they're also in finals. Truly one of the best stories that we've seen throughout Call of Duty history, buddy. Yes, sir. And when it comes to the maps the most between... Team, step by step, makes the line this mountain to try and get to a final. You're close, you can taste it, but you're not quite there yet. It's phase and stand in their way. Map four. As our adventure of Tuscan continues, and everyone's blowing up. Three, all of Optic in a fight for scrap. Listen. Oh! Listen. Listen. They all line up for a BZ. Oh, oh, it might not be traditional Call of Duty. Team Tuscan, the second main for Texas. That is hitting this sequence. You get in, and then things fall apart oh so quickly. I think it's Dashy twice who gets team in, and he was top charge one, hits him, and then right there, he gets taken down. Allows Faze to get back in. Estelle just holding it down. He's on five in a row. A glide bomb might just secure them the win, but these 10 seconds are huge. Now it's a rotation over to B5. Shots he's going to go for. He's going to try to do what he can. But they do stack it. This is where Faze have collapsed, though. On this P5, and then if you get there to the P1, this is where they have collapsed. Have they fixed it? Is this the moment where they get it done? Oh, hello, man. <laughs>
<laughs> so far, it's Maze inside, 10 points away from victory. Maze pinned inside, second by second. The dreams of Ozzy and their fans. Just falling apart, Sam climbing him up, nobody getting it close. That's 14 from the end of that tournament. Envoy jumps in, he stays alive for it as well. It will be taken down by Beezy. And Beezy! He does manage to stay alive, but Octane will gun him down as well. Beezy oh, are sprinting. Octane is trying to stay alive. He knows reinforcements are on the way. A step too far, and they get in with one point. But LA Beezy are going to the Ooh -wee. final. All right, Phil, we keep beating here, but finals. Getting ready to start New York versus Thieves. I'm thinking New York, but we'll see what happens. Get there first. LA team, they broke the setup down instantly. Penny off respawn, just returned to another three street. And if you're on the back line, starting off he ones like that. As he's trying to make this one happen. One break is all you need. Send your prayers to the club dogs. Here we go. The contest is on. This is the first time they're through. The trades are about. Plus man is to the octane. The kills are there. And no one! One more hit. Trick tries to hold it on the way to the front now. Going for the contest immediately. Guns up. This is there. Drops to the side door. Up face of the kill. Oh my god! It didn't seem to matter. They're going to be so happy with this going in the champs. A massive victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your major four champions, the LA Kings. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for today's vlog. Now I want to apologize because I know the end of this video. We jumped around a lot. Uh, I am gonna go through all the footage that I recorded today, try to piece it together, try to make it look as nice as possible. I know it was not perfect, um, but in the comments, let me know. Things to improve on, right? This is the first time I've ever done something like this, so I hope that you guys did enjoy it. I hope that it was fun to kind of see behind the scenes of what it's like uh, when it comes down to a commentator, uh, when it comes down to events on Championship Sunday at one of the best majors that we have ever had. It was a legendary weekend, um, and I'm looking forward to doing this some more. Uh, if you guys like it, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Again, things I can improve on, let me know. Whether on social media, in the comments of this video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. You can also leave a like if you would like, um, because we've got lock-ins videos, we've got Lando's Logic videos that we get to upload in preparation for champs. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal time ahead. I appreciate you guys for checking out this video. Um, you know, it was a blast to make for you. It's crazy, right? LA Thieves, they're the champions. Uh, you know, coming into this weekend, I wasn't 100% sure. I was feeling, all, you know, some some good vibes around New York. I thought Atlanta Thieves would make it to the finals. They were very close. Uh, you know what? I got two teams that were in the top three, so I'm pretty happy with that overall. Uh, but a huge congratulations to the LA Thieves, to those guys. I mean, they have been probably the most criticized team this entire year, you know, so many people calling for a roster change, calling for basically every single player on the team to be dropped multiple times, but they stuck to it. Um, and I actually just watched a, a quick clip of Nade uh, reacting to the guy's win. It just it made me feel good. It made me feel good. Very happy for those guys. And I tell you what, we have got some amazing, amazing stories that we got to talk about, that we got to cover on the channel. And then when it comes to the broadcast that we get to talk about for you guys leading up into champs. It is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal end of the season to Vanguard. Uh, but again... Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the hay. Uh, maybe try to edit this video just a tad bit before I go to sleep. Cause I got a pretty early flight, 8 a.m. 
back to Dallas, Texas, where I get to see my wife and I get to see my child. Uh, I haven't seen her in like four or five days uh, and she was born eight days ago. So very excited for that. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy all the all the broadcasts, all the things. If you guys were in the venue, I hope you enjoyed your time because I think that you did. Phenomenal stuff, phenomenal stuff. I'm just, I, I could just keep rambling because I'm so tired, but thank you guys again for watching this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in a little while back on the channel. Take it easy guys.